Phelps, welcome to Vice. This is your new partner, Roy Earl. Take a seat. A special request was made to transfer you to add Vice. We need a man with your kind of starch on this desk, son. We have two dead Negroes found in an apartment this morning on Yucca Street. Number 6358, apartment 5. We got better things to be doing than wasting our time on two dead junkies. Did I ask your opinion, detective? Two men dead on U.S. Army issue morphine. That makes it an advice case. Beat it. Yes, sir. You and the lieutenant have some history? You could say that. We used to be partners. So, you're working with the big boys now, Cole? I guess so, Roy. I thought homicide was the primo assignment. That may be the case. I asked for you personally, Phelps. I had to pull a few strings to get you over to advice. How does it feel? The lieutenant seems to think I'm doing okay. Okay? <laughs> Don't get humble on me, Phelps. You're doing great. You're the department pinup boy. War hero and crime fighter. What a combination. I can assure you I'm no war hero, detective. Let's rouse some hop heads. Nice car, Roy. Is it department issue? No, this is my sled. You can't be seen slumming it in a gnash if you're in vice, Cole. Meanwhile, we got needle freaks kissing a goodbye all over Central Avenue. Any in the vicinity officer needs assistance. 1825 North Highland Avenue, 1825 North Highland Avenue. Unit to Who in God's name would eat at that hovel? They really picked a prize shithole for our first date. How bad is it? Will this make it Come into on, the paper? Down the stairs, detectives. Around the corner, last door on the left. I'm all done. Your show now. Carruthers. Phelps? I've been reassigned to advice. What have we got? Two stiffs. Overdosed. Been dead a couple of days. Government issue morphine. We use the same surettes in Okinawa. Fucking Negro junkies can't take supply this pure. You know these guys? I know of them. The younger one's a two-bit horn player by the name of Cornell Tyree. The other one works in distribution. Started using a little too much of his own product and Jack D took exception. He wasn't born that ugly. His name's Lamont. Tyrone Lamont. So who's supplying the drugs? That's easy. Whoever knocked off the wharves in San Pedro. Jack Dragna, Mickey Cohen. Dope's been all upside down ever since Jimmy Utley started the long walk at Quentin. You talk about it like it's a system. It was a system. But those days are long gone. We are supposed to uphold the law. Yeah, and we do. But we can't change people. The truth is, everyone wants the license to get a little dirty now and then. Our job is to keep it manageable. That's how you see it? See it any other way and you better forget about being a vice cop. Can we get on with this? Today, preferably? Street life have no idea how dangerous this stuff is. Black Caesar from the joint across the street. These clowns lived on. Looks like something was taped to the bottom of the cup.
No cooking or preparation. Must have been the easiest fix these two ever had. Heavy for an empty cup. They've been getting their fix right over the counter in broad daylight. Some kind of fruit, a bell, and wind. Strange doodle. Another special order from the Caesar. Just when I think I've seen it all. One Serette is enough to knock you out for combat trauma. Two of them will stop your heart. Was JJ. And why do these two care about his taste in music? Find anything interesting? They say only the good die young. I hope it was true in your case. Tyrone Lamont, not even 23 years old. A small chance in life is probably better than no chance. Took his jolt and drifted off. And I suppose his friend wasn't in any condition to notice that he had stopped breathing. The Emperor across the street appears to shift a lot of popcorn. Let's shake him down. Help you? Detectives Phelps and Durrell, LAPD. We're inquiring into the deaths. Hand over the popcorn, numbskull, before we kick the door in. Get that son of a bitch. Stay on him. What the hell going on here? Morgan! Th that you? You picked the wrong cop, you fucking animal. I'm gonna beat 
you black and blue. What's your name? Morgan. Half an answer is no answer to me, asshole. Fleetwood Morgan. Keep an eye on him, Roy, while I take a look around. Keep very still, Fleetwood. Don't give me an excuse to shoot you. Might not be filling, but I'm sure it's satisfying. Should be stamped on the reverse by the issuer. Maybe Morgan can give us something on this Jones character. These number slips might affect your tone, Fleetwood. About time we heard what Fleetwood here has to say, Cole. We're inquiring about the deaths of two men in an apartment across the street, Fleetwood. We want answers. Of course. I'll do my best, mister. You sold the drugs to Cornell Tyree and Tyrone Lamont. Oh, I sell... I, I sell fried steaks and, 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 and black-eyed peas. You're lying, Fleetwood. We know that you supplied them. I don't know nothing about no drugs. All I do is my ten hair flipping burgers. Can you prove any different? Flipping burgers and strapping jolts of morphine to the bottom of popcorn cups, Fleetwood. Now I want the truth. Who supplies the drugs? Cat by the name of Armstrong Edwards. All right, brings the stuff around about once a day. I know Armstrong. He's a two-bound, strictly small time. Who's he working for, Fleetwood? Jermaine Jones. We have you for the hop and resisting arrest. Tell us about the numbers if you want our help. Look, the numbers are the white man's tax on poor folk. All right, now, now what else you want to know? We have an address on the slips. We're going to go down there now and rat you out, Fleetwood. Tell whoever it is that you rolled over and gave them up. No, 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 no. Look, I've been cooperative, okay? Now you got to help me some. Fleetwood, I'm going to speak personally to the judge on your behalf. A name, Fleetwood. Look, he's, he's a real slick dude. Wears a hat and swings a cane. Goes by the name of Merlin. All right, I ain't got a last name. See you at the station, Fleetwood. Wait, you're gonna help me, right? Of course, kid. You helped us out. We always like to repay a favor. Can you see that Fleetwood gets a nice cell, Wallace? One with a window and a nice fresh pillow. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, detective? I need an address on a Jermaine Jones musical booking agency. Just a moment, detective. Jermaine Jones. The office is listed as 5528 Santa Monica Boulevard. Thank you. <laughs> That's that cop. Seems like a decent guy. I heard you were in the blue room the other night. Shouldn't you have been at home? 
Tucked in bed with the wife and kids? Where I go is your business. It couldn't have had anything to do with a certain delightful but damaged German girl, could it? I don't know what you're talking about, Roy. I was Hopwood. Oh, yes, officers need help, Hollywood and Highland. Hollywood Who? and Highland officers need help to eleven. Marlon Hopwood, your informant. He you was my corroborating witness in the Bishop case. Oh right, Marlon. You're not still sore about that, are you? You made the case without him. He was an accessory to the abuse of the girl, Roy. As long as Hollywood exists, it's going to be chewing up starry-eyed little girls. Marlon was small time. You caught the big fish. And look how much good it did your career. Why don't you use the siren? Look at this place. I'm guessing not much talent comes out of this talent agency. Here we are, Jermaine Jones, 238. Hey, who let you in? Jermaine Jones. Don't bother getting up. Your flunky Fleetwood Morgan just snitched you out. I wasn't planning to. Now you think you could tell me who the hell you are? LAPD. We'd like to take a look around. The hell you will, motherfucker. You carrying a warrant? No, do we need one? Search the place, Cole. What do you think you're gonna find, policeman? Huh? Scott Phantom? Fine radio. Short wave AM and FM. My father has a Scott. You ain't allowed to do this. I got rights. No wonder this thing is sounding a little muffled, Jermaine. Brennan! Wilt! Get over here! Take these assholes apart. You heard the boss. Is this the best you got? The mugs are dope to the eyeballs. Ah! Clean them up quick, boys. I ain't got time for this. Come on, come on! Beat these sons of bitches down! God damn! I don't believe this. Are you too good for anything? Sit tight, asshole. Pretend you're at the parlor getting your nails done. Cole, you better search through that stuff in the radio before you brace our friend here. Ramez removals. They must have taken special care delivering this for you. Too much for felony possession. I'm thinking intent to supply.
How many starving musicians pay with perfect clean 50s? Your friend Fleetwood was also a betting man, Jermaine. This must be how those two bums standing guard take their wages. I hope none of this stuff is purloined, Mr. Jones. I have a receipt for that thing. Somewhere. <laughs> Lamont and Tyree are dead. At a stretch, the DA could have you on felony murder for supplying stolen government... Tyrone and Cornell are dead? They're on a slab downtown with the ME examining their last meal. Popcorn washed down with morphine. You offering me a deal? I have a pet judge who hates blacks. He'll give you 50 years for your two buddies. Another 30 for stealing from Uncle Sam. You'll be out by the time you're 110. Imagine the changes you'll see. I get the message. How much is this going to cost me? Who supplies the morphine? I don't know nothing about that. So we make you for all of it. You're the fall guy from Mickey Cohen. In case you haven't noticed, I'm a colored man. Do you see any Jew boys running around here? I collect my cut. Lenny the Fink controls the action. Lenny who? Lenny Finkelstein, Mickey's dipshit brother-in-law. What is the link between the morphine and the numbers slips? There is no link. You're wasting your time here. You're lying to me, Jones. Tell me about Merlin. Who? I don't know anyone named Merlin. Fleetwood Morgan will testify that you and Merlin are expanding out of illegal gambling and into drugs. Okay. So I buy from a cat goes by the name of Merlinati. Merlin runs the lottery for the Jew boy. The Fink has a new line in drugs. You squeal me out, I deny ever telling you. Tell us about Adi. Adi's a gambler. Fronts points on football games, fights, the horses, numbers. Chicken crossing the road. Motherfucker will take the odds on anything. What's the score with Ramez removals? I brought a radio from there. That's all. So when we visit Ramez removals and tell them that we want a special bookcase or wardrobe to hide our dope in, they're going to be copacetic. And when we tell them their good friend Jermaine sent us and said they could do a nice deal for the LAPD. I could use an act like you two. Those fucks Abbott and Costello are on the slide. Hollywood could use another couple of deeply unfunny white bread humps like you. Very good, Jermaine. You have character. Now cough it up. Ramez is a good friend of Lenny the Fink. You getting the picture? Take them all in. We have a deal, right? We're after the morphine. I'll speak to the DA on your behalf. You have my word. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an address for Ramez Removals. That's Ramez, R-A-M-E-Z. Just checking. Ramez Removals, corner Sunset and Wilton. Owned by a Jose Victor Ramez. Thanks, ma'am. I think his name is Phelps. He brought in that case...
So Mickey Cohen or Jack Dragna stole the army's surplus morphine, and they are selling it on the streets? Looks that way. But the mob wants returned customers, not corpses. Why haven't they cut the morphine? Good question, detective. This robbery happened months ago, right? The beginning of the year. So why are the proceeds suddenly turning up now? Another good question. But where does it get us? It's like asking questions in the middle of the movie. If you just sit tight and keep your yap shut, you'll find out what happens. We need to follow the evidence. All units in the vicinity and any central unit. Citizen reports of 415 at 7th and Central. Unit to handle code 2, identify. Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. My name's Merlin Odie. I run a strictly legitimate bookmaker's detective. So that's not an illegal wire service that your colleagues are running? And the number slips that I've been picking up all morning with this address on them have nothing to do with you? I pay my kick to the WAPs, and they pay their cut to the LAPD. You can't go shaking me down. You're a loudmouth motherfucker, aren't you? Anyone ever tell you the criminals are supposed to keep their mouths shut? Stay where you are while we look around. I think Ramez's place is our next stop. Thanks for the paper trail, Merlin. With this quantity, we're looking at a high-level trafficking charge. Well, that's quite a win for a dime, Merlin. You better God start talking. damn it. Get after him, Phelps. Give it up, Artie. You want a tip? I'll fill my coffee faster next time. Was all right, all right, relax, motherfucker, you got me. Nice one, Merlin. Too bad you couldn't pull off your vanishing act. Make your joke, smart guy, but don't damage that. That there's a valuable antique. You don't say. Maybe you ought to have a look at this, Cole.
Adi has Jose Ramez in his pocket. Ramez must have forgotten his lucky numbers. Would you like to calculate the odds on you going to prison for a very long time, Merlin? I'm not going nowhere. I've paid my contributions, and I'm not getting hustled by you. We're only interested in morphine. Army surplus morphine. What do you have to say about that? I heard about that. Big robbery on the ship. Ain't my line of work. I prefer something with a sporting outcome. You distribute for Lenny Finkelstein. You're a patsy for those gangsters. I don't know what you're talking about. I'll distribute for the LAPD, motherfucker. Jermaine Jones gave you up as a supplier. He says that you're Lenny's sissy, and that you'll do whatever Lenny tells you. Me? That nigga's a dead man. I moved the dope Jose brings me. Jose Ramez, I ran a clean numbers racket until those two motherfuckers went into the dope business. Ramez seems to owe you a lot of money. We all owe somebody. So it has nothing to do with the proceeds of the morphine shipment? It's a gambling debt. The heaps took over the wise service and screwed me. Now I just do what I'm told. Run numbers and shift dope. Jose's no different. He just thinks he's a big man that can run up tabs. You're not the guy we want, Merlin. But we're taking you in. Maybe some time in a cell will help you remember something worthwhile. Fuck you, and fuck you. You'll never put a charge on me. Take this bum in. Take the long way around. And don't be gentle with him. You got that? Yes, sir. Mickey Cohen runs the dope rackets? Mickey does what he's told. Benny Siegel will take a cut of any action that's going. I thought Jack Dragna was... Dragna's an old-time greaser. He keeps his head down and pays his dues. Word is he's gonna clip bug... LAPD. We're here to see Jose Ramez. What's it about? Routine inquiries, sir. Can you tell us where we can find him? You missed him. He was in the delivery truck, just went out. God damn it. Eleven K calling KGPL. Go ahead, eleven K. Eleven K requesting assistance in pursuit of narcotic suspects aboard a GM delivery truck. Commercial license, David Charles, four five seven. Hit him! Clear this asshole off the road! Here comes the cavalry. What does this lunatic think he's doing? Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. We're not playing around here. Take this clown off the road. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. Get in close and... He's going left onto Hollywood. Get alongside him and take him out. I can't take the shot from here, Cole. That's it, Cole. You did it. It's truck's history. Pull him out of it. Show me your hands!
Jose Ramez, you're being arrested on suspicion of supplying illegal drugs, resisting arrest, and for malicious damage to LAPD property. Hey, hold your horses. I supply furniture, not drugs. And that thing back there, that was an accident. Some furniture came loose. That's all. Save it for the DA, Chico. Keep an eye on him. We're going to take a look around inside. Where's he been delivering? And who's been delivering here? Any repeat business in the ledger, Cole? Why is Ramez buying so much ice? Merlinati is buying a lot of furniture. What's with the puddle? Where's that trail of water coming from, Cole? There must be a way through the back. Welcome to Furniture Village, where taste comes to die. What a pile of junk. My mother would be in heaven. I bet this is the kind of crap you love, Cole. 20 years out of fashion. There's a cold room in the back. I think we know where the water's coming from. You're gonna wanna see this. There's something frozen inside. I'll be damned. This must be how they transport the morphine. LAPD, leave it right there. Everyone out of the vehicle and put your hands up. There's something in the ice. He's making a run for it. Let him have it. You're clear, go. Show me your face, motherfucker. Thank you, asshole! 
Take them all to Hollywood Station. Have the ME at Tech Services go over this place. Where will you be? Hunting polar bear. Is Avi serious? Is the LAPD turning a blind eye to narcotics? Keep your shirt on, Phelps. Drugs are prohibited. Doesn't mean people don't want to take them. Limiting supply doesn't mean that we have limited demand. I understand that. I know that the average Joe needs to unwind a little, let his hair down at the end of the week, but morphine? Heroin? It's important to demonize hop, Phelps. Looks good in the papers. But when all is said and done, it's just another chemical like booze. A lot of people in high places think we're doing the city a favor by keeping the dope rolling into Central Avenue. Donnelly certainly believes we need to keep them anesthetized. Better jobs and opportunities would go a lot further. Will you listen to yourself? Any in the vicinity of 211 in progress at 3rd and Union, stand by for further unit to handle identify. Factory is closed. Has been for years. How much call for ice anymore with all those newfangled refrigerators? Save it for someone who wants to hear it. How many janitors carry a GAT? That's one way of announcing we're here. Give it up, Finkelstein. Your brother-in-law will get you a good lawyer. My brother-in-law hates my guts. Come and get me if you want some daylight through that suit of yours. Come on in and get massacred. He's around here somewhere. Move, I got you. Throw out the guns. Eyes open. He's around here somewhere. One's got your name on it. You're fucking dead. What the hell is the matter you now, Can someone please just kill these assholes? Find right? some cover. Here. Understand? Here. Stay down. I'm wide open here. Give me some cover. Get in cover! Pour it on, goddammit! Keep shooting! I want him dead! Yeah, that's just what I... Get in cover! Now! Real clever asshole, I'm gonna find you!
Find some cover! They're all dead, Finkelstein. Leave the weapon and put your hands up now. Put my hands up? Sure. Then what? Cop the peddling the dope? Cut a deal? Ship me off to the queue? Soon as I get locked up, some old friend puts a, an ice pick above my ear? No thanks. Only one other way out, shit heel. So tell me down to this. Let's have a look around. Now that we've finally got some peace and quiet. I think I've had enough ice for one day. Until the sky. This stuff has got to be worth at least a hundred grand. So Finkelstein robbed the ship? My guess is Lenny took it off their hands. This is big. This is going to make the papers, Phelps. As senior investigator, I'll do the talking. Well, well. Who would have thought that Roy Earl's hand-picked new partner would have turned out to be such a great case man? This is a good result, Phelps. As far as we can tell, Lenny the Fink was moving the morphine across the city and as far north as Frisco. This makes the feds very happy, and it makes Mickey Cohen look bad. I won't lie to you, kid. I like the headlines. I like them a lot. You keep this squad in the papers, and we'll get along just fine. 